Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are covering no sword stance and heat. It's not going to be anything groundbreaking. This whole Yoshimitsu series is mainly aimed at new Tekken players and new Yoshimitsu players. Um, but hopefully I can offer a little bit of insight um, and some examples on how I like to use the moves. Um, so, like I said, we're going to start off no sword stance. What is no sword stance? Um, Yoshimitsu's default stance, as you see here, is often referred to as single sword stance or one sword stance. If you hit uh, back one plus two, you will go into no sword stance. Why do you want to be in no sword stance? Um, Yoshi gets a lot of really cool buffs when he's in no sword stance. Um, changes to a lot of move properties and 50-50 mix-up that's really good from full crouch and most importantly he gets a lot of health regeneration um, where he also gets that in heat but if you're playing the way that Tekken 8 wants you to play Yoshimitsu you're gonna be in no sword stance more than you are in heat but they are equally important and that's why we're talking about both of them today um, so before we get into the buffs and the special moves out of No Sword Stance, I want to talk about how to get into No Sword Stance. So we can do a manual transition with back 1 plus 2. Um, this is not the fastest thing in the world. Um, however, it does go into crouching. If you look down there at the bottom, you can see that you're in a crouching state. You can duck highs with this. You can actually do like really cheeky things where you duck a high and wake up and flash um, it's pretty cool um, so just keep that in mind Okay. Um, the next way to get into no sword stance is 2-2 two -two on block or hit um, this is a great 11 to 12 frame punish I went over this in one of my earlier guides um, excellent frame advantage on hit and on block let me get him to block on block you're only minus one um, now this is an automatic transition to no sword stance you will always do this um, unless you hit one plus two after two two so two two one plus two will put you in kincho and leave you in single sword stance so you have some options off of this little screen but it is high, high, and if they block the first hit, they can duck the second hit. Um, if someone is ducking the second hit of 2-2 a lot, you can mix it up with 2-1. Oh, sorry. We'll go over that 2-1 later. But 2-1 in single sword stance is high mid um, with a similar kind of spinny animation. Um, so if someone's ducking you 2-2, just know that you have... 2-1 in single sword stance to mix them up. Uh, safe on block as well. The next way to get into no sword stance is down 2-2 two, two, and then you hold back. Immediately after you do down 2-2 two, two, you hold back. Looks like this. And he puts the sword away. Uh, I mainly use this in combos but it's also a good way if someone knows about you know the last hits here um, on the down two series, then you know, they might be expecting that last hit, and you can kind of sneak into no sword stance, get some mental frame advantage there. The next way uh, is if you are in dragonfly stance, and you do two four and hold back, you'll also go into no sword stance. Um, this is good for combos. I wouldn't really plan on trying to get in no sword stance like neutral on block um, with Dragonfly 2-4 because it's unsafe at minus 14 even if you go into stance it doesn't change the frame advantage which by the way is a little bit of a weakness of Yoshi's um, he can go into a lot of stances but unlike a lot of Tekken characters his frame advantage doesn't change in most instances. Um, it's not always true. He's definitely got stuff where it does, but 
Um, Yoshimitsu needs to rely on his stances, but he's, in the grand scheme of things, he's not, like, actually a strong stance character. That's, it's really up to you, the player, to get the best out of these. Um, so hopefully I can help you with that. Uh, the next way to get into no sword stance is while standing for, hold back. Okay. While standing for, hold back. Alright. While standing for, hold back. Um, I think that there are other ways, and if you know of other ways to get into no sword stance, or if I miss anything else in this guide, please let me know. I'll put it in the timestamp, underneath the timestamp for the move, so that anybody reading it in the future um, will get that edit. Okay? Um, now, let's talk about moves that are buffed when you're in no sword stance. Okay? Um, 1-1 one, one normally looks like that, and no sword stance, you get a knockdown. Okay. 3-1, uh, which if you know is a heat engager, right? And in no sword stance, it gives you health back. See those little souls or whatever going into Yoshimitsu? Anytime that happens, anytime you see that, Yoshimitsu is regaining real health, not the gray health. Okay, not recoverable health, um, but real HP. And that is incredibly strong. Um, the next move that gets buffed is 3, 2, 1 plus 2. Um, normally, you get this kind of range on that. Uh, but in no sword stance, the range is inc increased quite a bit. Um, does not change the frame advantage. That last hit is still minus 13 with the opponent in crouch. Next move that gets buffed is flash. Okay, uh, normally you can't hit flash here, but in no sword stance, you can. And no sword stance flash gives a full launch, whereas single sword stance flash only gives you a guaranteed back 2-2. Um, so very notable increases the range slows it down by two frames single sword stance is flash is six frames no sword stance flash is eight frames um, but that is not a significant drop off for the payout that you get extra range and a full launch um, another move to get buffed is the range of forward one plus two Normally looks like that. No sword stance. You get about two and a half. Maybe twice the range. Really great. Great keep out. Um, great way to check movement. Also a heat engager. So note that these uh you know, in heat, right, you can you can get a full launch by doing a heat engager and holding forward, which we'll get into. Um, but having that extra range on that means you can threaten with a full launch from a range that a lot of characters in the game cannot. Alright, next move to get buffed is down forward 3-1. In no sword stance, you get a knockdown. Very nice. Great Oki that you can run up to afterwards. Um, same with 1-1. One, one, great Oki. And next is down one. Normally it looks like this. In the sword stance, you get the same knockdown that you do as 1-1 one, one and down forward 3-1. It's also important to note that 1-1, one, one, down forward 3-1, and down one, if the last hits connect, on counter hit, you get a full launch. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Full launch. And down one. Full launch. It's all the same animation. Um, 
Next move to get buffed is up back one plus two. Right, very good move. Linear but safe. Um, in no sword stance. Gets crazy range. Plus health regen. All these moves get health regen. Um, but the range on that is crazy. A lot like uh, forward one plus two. Up back one plus two. Great keep out move. Great way to check uh, back dash if they're trying to Korean back dash. You might be able to catch them when they're in their crouching stance right there. Um, Alright, and next we have no sword stance. Kincho 2. Then you can hold 1 plus 2 after to get a charge move. Normally, single sword stance looks like this. Kincho Two, one plus two. Okay, let me set him to block real quick. Pincho, two, one plus two. Plus two on block. If you don't charge it, it's minus 15, so you're going to get launched for it. Um, however, if you do charge it, you get plus two, but in no sword stance, you actually get a guard break. So we go no sword stance. Kincho 2, charge 1 plus 2, you get a guaranteed back 2-2 two, two because you get 14 guard break frames. Um, that's really strong, you know, so play around with that. Um, I don't use that move enough, but I'm going to start. The next move in no sword stance um, changes our 2-1. If you remember earlier, single sword stance 2-1 is this. In no sword stance, we get this really nice punish. Um, it's an 11 frame, 11 to 12 frame punish, and it wall splats. Also sends the opponent crazy far. Uh, this is great. Having a knockdown like that is great. Having a wall splat that fast, really strong. Um, to get into Indian stance, if you'd like. While in no sword stance, you can hit down 1 plus 2. The reason this works is because you cannot enter into flee while in no sword stance. In single sword stance, down 1 plus 2 gives you flee stance. However, in no sword stance, it does not. Also in no sword stance, you cannot stab yourself. You just disappeared. I've never used this in a match, I suppose. Could be useful. I don't know. Alright, you can block as soon as you come out of that. That's cool. Um, I don't know. I have to try that out one day. Just a missile somebody. Um, in no source stance, you, Yoshimitsu gets a down jab. Like a classic Tekken down jab. Um, pretty good. Normally, he doesn't have access to that. His down back one is this. Oh, sorry. Just the first hit of that. Um, but that's good. This is great for defense. Um, maybe you got kind of going back and forth with someone. You do like a 2-2, two, two, minus one on block. Go crouch, hit him with that. Um, just kind of play around with it. No, Notice that it is a special low so it can be blocked crouching or standing and it can be low parried and hot kicked and low crushed uh, next we have oh this is just how you get out of no sword stance you just do the manual transition again you also can't get into helicopter stance right uh, if I'm in single sword stance and I go to do helicopter, everything's fine and dandy. However, in no sword stance, we jump into Indian stance. Now, this looks goofy as hell, but it's actually pretty useful. Um, it is a low. You will land on someone's toes at a whopping plus 20. You have a lot of options out of Indian Stance, which I'll get into a later video. Um, but know for now that all those options are slow as hell, except for Indian 3 plus 4. This is like a 17 frame startup. 
However, it's not guaranteed if you land that. They can still block. Nothing is guaranteed off of that plus 20. Um, but plus 20 is is rare in Tekken. A standing plus 20. I cannot think of another character that has that. I'm sure there might be one. I'm not saying there isn't. But I can't think of one. So nobody's going to be thinking about uh, the fact that you're plus 20. You you got all day to sit here and, and throw one of these out. Okay. Um, and then you can get into Manji Kicks shenanigans and maybe some Dragonfly, which we'll also cover later. Uh, next is this sweet move here up forward one plus three normally if you do this you get the death copter which you can hit down and bring on somebody's head kind of a fun move or you can hit back go behind somebody um, unblockable however if you're in no sword stance you get this really cool jump um, why this jump is cool is it closes distance fast, it looks weird as hell, freaks the opponent out. Um, but when you land, you're in full crouch. And in no sword stance, Yoshi has access to a full crouch down four of three, which is coming up on the move list. This is really strong. If you guys played Tekken 7, you got hit with this, either from Yoshi or Kunimitsu's version of it. Um, death on block. However, really, really strong, and you have a full crouch mix-up with Yoshi in this stance, because nobody wants to get hit by this sweep. Um, you can combo with it, and, uh, you know, it hurts real bad, right? So, if anybody's ducking, you can give them a hob knee, you can do, you know, a wall rising move, um... You can do something safe, you know, up forward four. It's easy to get hit up forward moves from full crouch. Um, so if you want to use this mix on someone, um, the input for his his full crouch um, mix here is down forward, you know, full crouch down forward three. And, and he does this little walking forward thing, right? Um, a player that knows about this move, when they see that, they know that you are in position to be able to rip this move out. Um, so, if you want to like catch somebody with with the mix, you know, do one of these little little dance forwards here, um, and just get them to notice, like, hey, I'm about to go for this. You don't have to do it for long because they'll knock you out of it if you're not careful. Um, but just get them to look at your toes. And then you can go up like that. Right. Next on the list uh, are while rising uh, moves get changed a little bit. So this is in no sort of sense while rising 2 1 2. If I do 2 1 2 in single sword stance, it's it's actually a different move. It stops at 2-1 and it's a launcher um, that automatically puts you into Dragonfly. So this is a very different move. Um, but if that last elbow hits, it's a counter hit launch. Very, very good. Um, I wouldn't say this is a, a mix necessarily, but just another string to put out. This ends high. Safe. Um, so you have a safe high or an unsafe mid. I believe the mid was unsafe. Well, the mid safe too. So yeah, I don't. I don't know why you might want to go for one or the other. I think that one wall wall breaks. I've seen I musician use that quite a bit. Um, but just know that that's there. Uh. In single sword stance, his full crouch one is the sword sweep. But in no sword stance, it changes to this 
hand sweep. Full crouch down forward. <clears throat> One, two. If they block the first hit, but get hit by the second, you get plus 14. And that's guaranteed. Um, so, very important, especially a good way to get into heat. It's a lot of damage. And that gets us out of no sword stance. Alright, so play around with these. Um, real quick, before we end with that, I just want to reiterate that while in no sword stance, you cannot get into dragonfly. You cannot get into flea. Um, you cannot do Yoshi suicide. You cannot do death copter because you get the jump. And your down back one becomes a down jab. Yoshi changes quite a bit in no sword stance and it will take some getting used to. But it is incredibly strong stance. You get access to a lot of counter hit launchers. You get health regen. Um, it's just really good. And Tekken 8 is really pushing it. You know, get your extended range. Get your health back. Get your counter hit launches. Use no sword stance. Now we're going to talk about heat. Okay. Um, the reason I'm going over heat second is because there's a lot of overlap. All those moves that get buffed in no sword stance heat also applies the same buffs and you do not need to be in heat for that right um, to get into heat you do two plus three that's going to do this animation that i'm sure you've seen before if um, you'd like to cancel that animation for whatever reason you can hit back back do that um, moving on let's talk about his heat engagers right our first one is 3-1. I love this move. It's plus 7 on block. It is mid-high, so it can be ducked. But you can mix that up with 3-2, which is mid-mid, and threaten with 1 plus 2. While unsafe, you can stop at the second hit. 3-1 is an excellent move. Um, excellent, excellent move. You want plus frames real fast? Throw that out. Next is forward one plus two. We talked about this earlier. Great heat engager. Um, when you're in heat and single sword stance, you get that buffed range. Okay. Back two two. This is a great move. It's mid high. It can be ducked. You can mix it up with back two one, but that is not a natural combo on block. And if it is blocked. Minus 17, you can get destroyed for it. But if they show that they want to duck after you poke them with this, and you can use the first hit as a poke. If they show they want to duck with this, let that rip. Otherwise, use this as a great whiff punisher. You know, if you're already in heat, hold forward, get your launch off of it. It's a really good move. Back 2-2 two, two is a really good move. You can also stop after the first hit. Go into Kincho with 1 plus 2 if you want. Um, it's going to make the frame advantage worse, I believe. It just went from plus 2 to minus 1 somehow. It's not doing it again. But see, you're plus 2 with this anyway. And Kincho... You know, any other character in the game would be like, Oh, I did this in a stance. I'm not plus two. I'm plus nine now. So Yoshi isn't really the strongest stance character, but his stances are a lot of fun, and you can make them strong depending on how you use it. Um, quick note about 3-1 uh, real quick before I forget is that um, earlier I was saying a lot of moves like you're locked out of when you're in no sword stance. 3-1 will still put you in um, Manji Dragonfly if you're in no sword stance. So just keep that in mind. Okay, that move stays unchanged. During uh, Kincho Forward 2, that's another heat engager. This has a ton of range, man. A ton of range. It's a tracking move. 
This is really good. It's a high. Um, you can do this uninterrupted if you get forward forward three to land. Forward forward three, Kincho forward two. That's a great way to, to start off this whole heat thing. Next, Dragonfly four. Heat engager. I like this move a lot. Um, sometimes I'll just throw this out. I'll go raw dragonfly with up one plus two. Raw dragonfly transition and just throw out a mid. Right. If they're not ducking or you know they're respecting that kick, um, then you can just throw out this high throw that's unbreakable with three plus four. We'll get into dragonfly stuff later, but um, that's kind of your mix out of here is either dragonfly four or the throw. Um, and yeah, if you want to make people duck into this mid, you know, hit them with that throw. This is a really, really great move. Really great move. Um, you also get the range buff of, uh, flash there while you're in heat, which is really good. Like I said, all of the buffs from No Sword Stance are also buffs while you are in heat. You might be kind of wondering, like, all right, well, I've engaged heat. Like, what do I do here during this run situation? How do I capitalize on that? Um, the meta right now, you know, you're at plus 17 during that run animation. You want to go for a mix-up, right? If you're in no sword stance going into heat, you got your very powerful full crouch game um, but even if you're not you can always do a classic strike throw um, you know you can hop kick or th do a throw like that um, or do it like a more like a safe knockdown if you want um, you, you have any option you want just know that at plus 17, right, you, if you want it to be uninterruptible, it needs to be 17 frames or better. Um, but if you want a little wiggle room, you know, you can go over. Now, if you're getting real cheeky, you can, like, do your up back 1 plus 3 unblockable and hit somebody. If they're really frozen there waiting for you to do your mix-up, um, use this opportunity to, you know end around and catch somebody with one of those right or even your like full crouch you know no swords there's way better combos for that but um just use your frame advantage mix them up the throw yoshi's throw is incredibly strong um, you can like do what is it for yeah you can get some health back with Quarter circle forward two throw. So one plus two break. Same as the other, so it's not really a mix, but um Mix them up, man. Mix them up. Heat is great. You get all those buffs that we talked about earlier. Um you get access to your heat smash, which Yoshi's is really strong. Alright. Let's let's see all the damage there. 50 damage or so, um, and on block, you get a really nice mix, okay? Um, if you just do it normally, they're like plus four, you know, nothing huge, they can still sidestep if they really wanted, um, but if you hold up after the heat smash, you'll go into Dragonfly. At plus 10, you got a lot of options out of here. Right? Um, Dragonfly 2 is uninterruptible, and a launcher with 2 4. Um, Dragonfly forward 1 plus 2 is uninterruptible, those are both highs. Um, Dragonfly 4 is uninterruptible, mid option. So, you know, um, use heat smash even on block situations even if you don't think that you're going to get the hit off of it if they're like 
in a position where they got to guess for their life, you know, one hit mix to win, put them in a mix situation. It's, it's really good, really, really strong. Um, utilize heat as much as you can and utilize no sword stance as much as you can. Uh, we're going to get into the other stances in the later videos. Um, I'm doing them in short sections so that I have more time and it's easier to fit into my schedule. Um, but, you know, you can also go into stance off the heat, right? You could hit 1 plus 2 and go into Kencho. You can go into no sword stance right in front of their face and when they're like, oh wait, what the hell did he just do? I'm gonna hit him. Let me flash him. Alright, so play with it. Experiment. No Yoshi plays the same. That's the beauty of this character is that you have all these tools in front of you and you get to decide how to implement them in order to confuse your opponent. And that's excellent. Now as one quick bonus stance I want to do meditation just because I think this is an important part of Yoshi's plan. It recovers his gray health not as fast as Indian. Keep that in mind. Okay, but these two stances to recover health are great ways to pressure the opponent without pressuring the opponent. If your opponent has the life lead and is playing keep out, playing defensively, they're back on the other side of the screen, and you're down, you've got a lot of gray health, things aren't looking great, do this. Get your health back. Oh, they're all the way over there waiting for you to come in because they think you have to. Sit over here and get your health back. You will apply pressure to your opponent without applying pressure to your opponent. They're going to run in. When they realize you're gaining health, if they don't already know, they're going to run in. It, the more gray health you have, the more pressing this becomes. If you just have a little gray health, eh, whatever. If you have half a health bar of gray health, they do not want you to do this. Um, and that's when, you know, you can turn around and hit them with a, a keep out. You know, um, these are just really strong to use in the neutral um, and a way to keep your opponent from trying to play passively or force you to make a move. Right? You don't ever want to be in a position where your opponent knows that you're the one that has to make the move. Because then all the cards are in their hand. Right? Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to get to the other guys or the other stances um, here very soon. I'm going to kind of roll them out as the weeks go on. Um, but hopefully. I uh, gave you a little bit of insight on some of these moves. Um, if there's anything I missed, like I said, please feel free. Kindly mention them to me in the comments. I will happily add them into the description um, near the timestamp so that everybody can see the edit. And if you're coming to this video, look at the description for any possible edits. Um, I hope this helps new Yoshi players understand a little bit more about no sword stance and a little bit more about heat.